Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here. I'm back with the 100 day project and we are doing day 93 inspired by Paris and uh, the request is from Sharon. Who doesn't love Paris? I love Paris. I haven't been there for a very long time. But anyway, I I wanted to get my video done this morning, but I, I went down the rabbit hole and um, collected up images. So just some images of Paris um, some and old paintings from the mid, 18, mid to second half of the 1800s. Paris fashion from 1851. Um, and then just some trims. Some of these were slightly older, but I didn't matter. This photograph was in, I love that photograph. That was um, outside the Eiffel Tower. I, um, second half of the 1800s, that was. Just some beautiful trims and beautiful Par Parisian buildings. Some French lace. More of the fashion. Um, this is by Degas. And it was called The, the Milners. And these are some beautiful um, samples for embroideries on waistcoats and things like that. Gorgeous trim. Wouldn't you love to have pieces of those? They would be Hordsville. Um, the Theatre de la Renaissance, the river there. Um, this was a um, design for Hotel Do Something in Paris. And then I just did some French fabrics as well. I thought was super pretty oh and I've also got a map of Paris and then this is a letter that was a um was from a sample book so that's the front side that's the reverse side obviously I didn't do them exactly the same and these were the little samples down here I took them off the back so it was easy to cut out that will be annoying to cut out and then that's just another fabric sample page as well and I thought that was fitting because I had the um, Paris fashion images there now i again a very vague idea i want to work with envelopes today and my inspiration is coming from robin dudley howe i'll put i'll link her channel below hopefully i remember if i don't remember guys just remind me and i'll i'll link it now what i want to do is i want to put a pocket here so i think i'll do that first i'm going to put it there although I don't mind covering that, covering that up. I might attach. because so I want to leave this open on the side. I don't want to close that. Now, let me just think about this for a second. I want it to open that way. So I need to put my, oh, well, I do mind covering that up, don't I? All right. Well, then now I have to put my pocket on here. Okay. So about there. I'm going to start snipping about. Oh, <coughs> my scissors on top of the the acetate so I'm just going to then move it over to the line on my mat and then just cut along the line if you could be bothered to get your knife out you'd do a better job than me you will do a better job than me because I know that you won't be lazy like I am and you'll get your knife out but I'm not getting my knife out because I'm a lazy lazy and this is double. This is just some packaging. I've probably got some stamps or something in that. Um, so it's double. I like to keep it double so it's stronger. And I've cut it a little bit smaller. Let's see if I do better that way. Yes, that way is better. And so then I'm going to trim here. Now my issue is... I might have to just glue it in place because, well, then that's, I can't have it double, can I? Um, that's got a lumpy bit there. Excuse me while I have a think. Because um, I want my, I wanted my opening there, but I can't, oh, I know what I can do. I can snip it open here. I'm going to be stitching across it anyway. And I'll stitch my pocket in there, on there like that. You see, that's how you do it. Okay. So what I, oh, then I have to open it up there as well. Well, I'll just stitch all the way around it. Okay. So I'm going to open it. And I'm going to stitch my pocket on. And I'm going to, oh, 
I was going to clip it, but my clips are in the other room. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? Okay, so we need straight stitch. We need it to be, I make my stitch bigger. And I'm doing transparent here because I don't want to cover up my, actually I might zigzag down there. There we go. I'm going to zigzag down there, but I'll straight stitch up that side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right there, take it out. This is how my brain is thinking today. Take that out. I'm going to then come along here and stitch this side with the zigzag I've decided. And just for consistency, I'll go right up the side, just like the other one. And then I'm going to close it so I'm not stitching twice. I'm going to stitch across there and I'll stitch across there. Sometimes I think feel like you almost need a some sort of study to, to figure these things out. I mean, I have studied, but not envelopes. There we go. Back stitch. Okay, and there we have it. So I now have the opening where I want it, and I've got my pocket. So there we go, it's open there. So that's great. Perfect. What's next? Somehow I wanted to use this envelope. Um, and this one, I want to leave the flap open. I do, it's a window envelope. So I'm recycling. I want to leave the flap open. Let's just put that over there. We might need it again. Because um, I want to, like I could hinge that to something and then put it into a journal. But I want to have, I don't know, it's very complex what I want to do. I want to put that there. And this part is inspired by um, Robin. I want to put um, a doily underneath for prettiness. So maybe something like that. Put the doily like that. So I need to put something up there. Nothing about Paris here yet. No Paris happening here, but it will. It'll happen. So that's that. And then, so maybe have that over a bit further, peeking out over the side, I think. Not quite there. Um, and then that's going to attach to something else. I'm not sure what yet. And then we'll get out. Now we're ready for our pad. Well, like we could attach it. Oh, that's a new envelope. But we could get another envelope and we could attach it to another envelope. So you've got two. Um, or we could just attach it to a piece of paper. So what we need to do here is ignore all of these wonderful images. Ignoring. Don't, we could, don't need to ignore that. And we need to get to these papers. This is what I was thinking. One of these. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's also pretty. I really like the map. Maybe I'll put this paper, I think. I don't really need to cover all of that. Maybe I could have a trim up there. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll have that trim up there. I might. I can always print it out again if I need it again. So, yes, you've got to... I think this is one of those projects that you, you're probably thinking, what on earth is she doing? Well, I don't know either. That's the honest truth is I don't know what I'm doing. Making it up as I go. I couldn't find um, Robin's um, tutorial. She had a tutorial making something and um, I couldn't find where it was. So I'm making it up. That's what I'm doing. I'm winging it. So I'm going to put this here. That's going to go there. And what I need to do is I need to put a piece of paper under here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to be brave and put some glue down. I'm going to put my glue here. 
down there. How wide do I need to go? Probably about, yes, that's about right. So I'm going to glue. I don't want to glue it shut, you see. That's why you put your paper in there, so you don't glue the inside. Put some glue there. And then that will go. And I don't want to put it right flush with the fold of the flap either. Just put that there. And I may need a little bit more glue right down to there. And that is that. And so that's that. And then what? So we're going to have this here, that there. And then when I flip it over, I'm going to see this over here. Well, I can look after that after. I need to put something in there before I close it all up. That would be a good idea. I'm going to put just going to. Oh, I might. Don't know whether I want to keep my map fully or. Oh, maybe I'll put a piece of this. This is what I'm going to put in there. Some of this. I'm going to tear this. Yes, I do like that. Tear that bit off. Cut my white off. I don't even need it to be that big. And I'm going to glue some of this inside the window. Tear that off. And put glue all over it. I think this type of project you need to make decisions before doing a lot of the steps. Now I've got to be careful here. Probably, I oh know, I, I can do it, I can do it, I can. I put that in there, it's stuck to my hand that in there like so, clean my hand off with my towel, I'm going to grab my um, ruler, get inside and flatten it out, there we go, it's not perfectly straight but it, it will do the job, it will do the job so you don't see the inside of the envelope, so that's done, so that could, that could be shut I think. That could be shut. I'm going to shut it. Hopefully I don't regret it. So I think I'll just do a straight stitch down there. Now if you don't have a sewing machine you can do. Stitching is not 100% necessary. Okay so I've made the decision and I've shut that. Now I have a side pocket here that's going to go there, so I think um, here I might have, just try to think, do I want to stitch it down there and have two side pockets or maybe I will just open the top and have a big tag in there, maybe I'll open the top. No. I think I would like two pockets. I'm going to stitch it down the middle. And this all needs to happen now. Now you're probably thinking, she's a lunatic. She's, she's closed it now. You can't get in there in any direction. I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to snip here. And we're going to snip here. Hopefully I've snipped it on the right side. I have. I have. Okay, so that's going to be a pocket in there. And that's going to be a pocket in there. And we will do our little semicircle, but we'll do that afterwards. Now, this is going in this way. So we've got to remember our direction. This is going to go here. Yes, it is. And I'm just wondering, that's going to go there. I'm going to glue it that close, but up a little bit. And I'm wondering, do I want something up there? Just put 
the scrap pieces of paper over here from yesterday. Now there, I might like a little bit of um, lace peekabooing out of there. I think I might. Lace or something else. No, none of those. Okay. That I'm going to tear. I'm going to tear it. And I don't need that much. I only need it to go. I'll just tear a little bit more down there. And I don't even need to. Oh, well, I will tear that off just in case you can see it. Okay, so we'll be covering up the, the um, tea dyed envelope, but that doesn't matter. Only, not all of it, but nearly all of it. Okay, so that's going to go there. Now I can glue this down, I think. I'm going to glue that there. So, how high? I'm going to glue it. I want it to peek out the top a little bit. So let's put the glue. Something different to put into your journal, you see. So I think that's about right. Yep. Grab the card. And that's going to then glue on there. So with that one, I might, what will I, will I use regular glue? No, I think I'll use my PVA glue and just smush it around everywhere. hand inside like that and hold on to it like that don't need too much okay so that is going to glue oh I don't want to cover that bit off Yeah. Okay. Get my ruler and just slide that in there and just um, glue it, glue it down. Okay. Now, here I've got my pocket there. Let's just make sure that's still all open. And my pocket here. Oops, I've got a bit of glue on there, so I'll just get my wet towel and give that a wipe. Okay, now. So. Now you won't be able to see that, um, like you could hing even hinge it onto a page if you wanted to. Um, I was thinking I was going to hinge it to another paper, so um, let me just have a think. So just say I had an antique, I have a single antique piece of book page, and I think I'll glue that, I'll store it the Italia. Well that's no good, let me see if I've got a French one somewhere. I bet you I've only, I mean, I normally have a bit of French floating around as well, but I bet you I've only got Italian. Here's some French. Oh, there's a French person on there with one of those French moustaches. 
Um, let me see if I've got any other. And of course, it's all, all in Italian. Of course it would be. Absolutely. Um, ooh, that's a good piece. That was an end paper. That's nice. Although, I don't know. I could attach it to the end paper and I'll do a bit of collaging on it. It did have a bit of mildew, but I did clean it um, when I removed it from the book. So we're going to put some glue on here. And uh, to reinforce that afterwards, I would, re I would stitch that. So we'll put that there. We'll have the nice. And that will, I'll stitch down there. And make sure it all sticks. It's, you know, it's all secure. And so that's going to go, that's going to go into a signature, you see. We have to do a little bit of work over here. So it's kind of like creating a journal page with um, pockets. Something different. And yeah, I, I like this. I'm happy with this. Now I know that's, I don't, I think they might be Polish. I'm not sure. No. Bratislava. Um, but anyway, oh, I know. I might get a bit of this letter. It's not a letter. It's um, it's a sample. It's a you know a description of the samples. And I think I'm going to glue that there. It's going to suit me just fine. So obviously with the doily poking out the side, it's going to go into a journal that can take it. Oops, wrong way. What a goose. Pay attention, Rachel. Now, if it weren't um, inspired by Paris, I wouldn't cover up that writing, but it's inspired by Paris. I know that's in... Um, we'll pretend like a French person sent it. That's what we're, pret we're pretending. That's what we're pretending. We'll have to make it up. Make it up as we go. I think that's done now. We'll make something to go in there. Now we need to do this over here. Now I would be inclined to leave most of that and not cover it up. Um, but we do need to cover this up. And so let's see what we have. What do we have? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, so we'll pop over here. I've got some lovely papers. Well, they're fabrics really. And then we have, let me just see here. Um, oh, I love these things. I would have died and gone to heaven if I had something like that in my stash, really. Um, I don't think that one's going to be wide enough. Just seeing if I put any others. No, I didn't. Okay, so what are we going to put there? Could have that one. I'd have to snip some off. Well, let's cut it out. I like having a mix of things to play with. It's fun. I wonder where this pretty trim went. It's so, so lovely. It really is. So I've taken Lulu to, to the pool today. So the swimming pool um, in our town has, oh yes, I quite like that. Um, it's changed hands. And some young guys are, are running it now that they run a little um, takeaway burger place near, near where we live actually. And looks like they've done quite a lot of work there. The man that was running it be before was awful, and he he was rude to people. He lost a lot of um, clients and people who who got a season passed. He treated them badly because, um, which was really silly, because some you know some of them had four kids and they'd get season pass for all the kids and mum. Um, but he was rude to them because he considered that they they had a discount with the season pass, and so he didn't appreciate them but they were returning customers and probably end up paying a whole lot more than anybody else that would go there just with you know a regular sort of entry fee even though they paid a bit more anyway so he ended up annoying everybody and, and a lot of people went to the council because it's a council pool 
um, and they went, maybe I could restick that there, no. Um, they went to the council and they complained and tried to get the pool taken away from him and they have been successful. Uh, so he's not there anymore. But it's looking like it's, um, I think I'm going to stick that right there. Um, he's um, He's gone and these young fellows have it and um, and, it, and they've done all this work and it's looking really good and they've even got a restaurant and it's a lovely, you know, there's a lovely garden and the pool and lights and everything. So it looks like it's a fun place to go and have dinner. So I'm wondering here, I need to put something out. I probably could have put the whole thing coming. Oh, what a goose. I should have put the whole thing coming right down the side, shouldn't I? Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll just put it together like a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, honestly. Sometimes we don't know where the brain has gone. I don't need you won't even notice it no you won't we just fix our mistakes just cover it up just stick something over the top that had to be done because we had poster written there and I hadn't thought about it but I actually like it going all the way down this is a bit of fun this little project something different and fun thank you Robin very inspiring so then I feel like, do I need to put something else there? I could get sidetracked and put a flower or a butterfly or I could put her there. But I wanted to leave that for writing. I think I could just leave that. I could just leave that. I could put a bit of textile. What about a bit of textile? Oh, I love this thing. It's all falling apart. Yes, I think I'm going to stick a bit of textile on there because that reminds me of Paris. Put that there like that. And I might just have it dingle dangle down or I could put it here. Oh, I think I like it down there and just have it coming down. So it'll hang out, it would hang out the bottom of the journal the said journal that this goes into unless you want to send it off as a happy mail because that's always a possibility it's not like by law it has to go into a journal so we'll stick that there and then that's going to be left for writing and we'll have to create some snazzy little card to go in there that you can see and the other one doesn't have to now what i need to do before i forget is get this slide this in here and I'll just hold it up so I can see. And snip. Oh, you can see that. Okay, well, I'll have to put something in there then, won't I? And snip. And that one too. So all I, that's, easy, that's an easy fix. All you need to do is like grab something like this. Well, no, this is not going to work because it's not big enough. But you could just have something like that. Oh, yes, it is going to work. I'm going to glue that in there. Just where the, the dip is, the thumbnail, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. I've ripped it. I'll just put some glue on so it stays back down. Put that in there. Line it up. Slide it up and just trim off the excess there. And then I can do the same over here, I think. Yes, that'll work. I think I need to change my piece of paper. And slide that one in there. Now I just need to slide it in a bit further. And that'll do. There we go. So that way we can't see the um, grey of the envelope and I need to put some glue under there as well we'll do that and that is done it's fairly quick isn't it right now we've got this here we need to cover up bits of this so um, now if you think about it you're going to have another page in there so you're not going to be able to um, see these two together unless you send it as a happy mail 
in which case if you were I would put like a washi or something down there to cover up that join um, now what will we put here well first of all what's this oh that's a beautiful trim um, I'm going to wouldn't this be this like folded like that be a gorgeous little notebook that would be a lovely little notebook it really would so I might put I'll start off with a bit of script that's always a good place to start get my glue on there I'm going to put it up a bit higher because I want to cover up the the mildew. Um, I did clean it as I said, but um, I do need to cover that up because I don't like the look of it. So it's not act actually active anymore, but um, it needs to be covered. So then what? We might put a trim down there. I don't have a trim long enough, I don't think. Add a piece of... Oh, so pretty isn't it I think I'll do that one now where is the ruler oh, right in front of me and tear this off I'm just gonna oh it's gonna be sideways do I care I don't think so I don't think I care I want a strip of it because I want to put it here like so that coming down there to there I need to just snip it off at about there pretend like that's a washi and we'll get I've just cleaned my fingers and we'll get the little card and just flatten it oops got a bit of acetate in there okay and then I'm going to very pretty I'm a bit crowded here making a mess I think I'm going to grab something else like one of these images i'm just seeing which oh i might like that one oh, i love look at that she doesn't have a very nice face though sorry sorry i like this one so i think i might tear it with my ruler just to get a little bit of the torn look not the big torn look with the other ruler but just a little one notre dame Oh, that's really crooked. Good on you. Okay, and I think that... Oh, maybe I'll put that up there. I was going to put it down here, but I think I like that up there. It breaks up that angle. And then I would leave the rest, I think. What fun. I'm going to be making more of these. These are fun. Maybe try and get them a little bit um, smaller so they can fit into smaller journals as well. Gorgeous. Well, I think so. And then, I don't know, do I want a little bit of something like that? No. Anything over there? No, I think I'm going to say that one's done. I'm going to go over here. Now, I need to do a bit of work over here. So, let's have a look. What is in I like this one with that. Or I've got that one. Or I've got this one. I do like that too. I might be inclined to put that there. Yes, I am. I think this one. I'm just going to tear it. 
I never learn the lesson, do I? I just t I tear on top of things and then it slips and slides. I don't want to cover up the, that lovely border. That's what I don't want to do. Oh, uh, Sherry um, asked me what did uh, pedantic mean. Pedantic is like, and correct me if I'm wrong, I've always taken it as like when you're being pedantic, it means you're being um, a fuss pot kind of, like you're being uh, pre precise. When, so when I say I'm being pedantic, it means I'm being a bit of a fuss pot, um, trying to get things um, a little bit, and I don't even like to say perfect because there's nothing perfect about me. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's how I, that's my interpretation of what it means. Anyway, so it means you're being fuss pot, precise. So get plenty of glue on there. I'm not done yet. Okay, so this was actually, this was what was covering the inside of a, a book that I had altered and um, I took it off because it was, I had to clean the cover and get all the mildew. I think it was, had all dried up and everything, but I just, um, I didn't like it. So I had to, this, I mean, this was sort of detached and everything. So I am um, just seeing if I could use that scrap, but no. Um, yep, so I kept it though because I liked the border and I thought it will have a use someday. I really do like this. And I'm wondering where would I like to put it? I'd like to shoot it down the side, maybe with the ripped. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm going to shoot it down the side with the ripped edge going in and I'll just tear that off a little bit where it's white too much of it so I think Lily will have fun at the pool oh, she's going with a big group of her old friends I think there'll be a lot of people you know kids there her age and older that she knows some she's happy to see some she's not so happy you know there might be the cool kids there. She doesn't like seeing them. She feels awkward. Awkward, she says to me. I feel awkward, mummy. I'm like, well, just go and do your thing. Stay in your lane. Be with your friends. Pretend like nobody else is there. Except, not like, don't jump in on top of people or anything like that. I don't mean pretend like nobody's there that you jump in on top of them. And I don't like this bit down here. So I'm going to put that there. And then, what else? I need something up here. It's something to happen up there. Something needs to happen up there. I love this. I'm going to put that image there. I think I like that. Now, do I want to tear it like that? Or do I want to tear it with my ruler? A ruler. Because we are channeling, we are channeling Paris. That's what we're channeling today. What fun. I'm having fun today. Put that there. I know it covers up a lot of that, but I actually really like that. It's a very busy page, but it's a very Parisian, Parisian, Parisian page. I'll put that there. I'm not going to totally cover the, the border. Okay, yes, I like that. And then let me see... Where's that lovely one that I, I love this. This, I would die if I had that too. I'd be so happy to have something like that in my stash. I really would. I'd be just in absolute heaven. Heaven. 
Right, now where's the other? Oh, this one. I'm wondering if I cut, I'll just cut a little bit. I might have to cut those knobbly bits off. They might annoy me, so I think I'll just snip those off. You know I snip things off that annoy me because I don't want to cut around them. They Well, I could cut around those, but it might be weird to keep them and snip the other ones off. I'm wondering, I'm wondering. I'm going to have to cut out some more, guys. You just have to bear with me because I can't tell. I'm snipping it off. What a shame, but I am. It's still pretty. It's still pretty without them. Don't have to keep those bits. Would I like that there? I was wondering. I could shoot it down there. Or would I like it to shoot across there? Oh, I think I like it up there. I do. I'm sorry. I know I'm getting very frou-frou and busy, but I like it. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do what I want and stick that there. It's covering up the roof a little bit, but I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay. It's nice to do um, Paris for a change. Rather, I do quite a lot of Italian stuff, don't I? My, there we go. I've flipped it around where I had those bits coming back. Actually, no, I need to move it down because I don't want the white to peek a bit. But I'm going to snip those bits off, you see? And that way I covered up less of... Whoops, sorry guys, I whacked into the into the ring light. And it's kind of hanging on, on top of the arm where the telephone is. And um, I crashed into it. So that's why you had a little bit of a shake -a Okay, so that's that. That's my, oh, I love that. Okay, and then it opens like this, and that's just going to stay like that, I think. Oh, I've got this little piece here. Is that anywhere? Anywhere? No, I don't think so. Okay, and then, so now I need to make a couple of things to go in the pockets. I could, oh, I know what I want to do. I thought I might put a little, um, some sort of little, um, I've still got that one there to do little sort of lacy something there i thought got this one i don't was this oh yeah i think this might be vintage i don't know if this was a vintage one or if i got it on um or someone sent it to me i can't remember so i put that there no i don't want that one there i could put it there and flip it around no not that one that one's not doing it for me um not that See, maybe I have a bit more of this one. No. Okay, I've got more up here. Of course I do. Those are all the little bits. I don't think there's anything in there. And then we've got... Oh, I've got too many things. Oh, wait, what's this one? I love this one. I put a little piece of this. I'll get. I'll snip three. I hoard that one. It just sort of sits up there, and I look at it. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. And I think I'll just glue that there. Yes, I will. I'm going to put this. Okay, so that's that. That's going to be there. Oh, yes, I like that. Now, we need to make something to go in here. And we have this lovely lady here. She'd fit nicely in there. But let me see if there's anything else that might fit nicely in there. Mm, I'd have to snip that one down a little bit. Oh, this one. Oh, I like this lady. I think this one's lovely, the colours. Maybe I'll put her in there. Oh, the, oh no, that was the other one I have to snip. Yes, see, let's tear out her. So if I put that, that will be made into a little journaling card and will sit in there. And I think that's really pretty. So let's just have a look. Yep, 
Okay, so we'll glue that to a piece of paper because that's what I do, make it stronger because this is just on um, copy paper. that there I should have torn it afterwards okay Maybe I'll back that. I think I'll back that with a bit of this one. Why not? So get the glue. And I'm going to back it with the part that has less writing on it. So that way it can be used. And that was over this side. Like so. Seems fitting. It's, it was Because these, these are fashion images. These were from the New York Public Library, I want to say. Um... I only chose a few of them. There were quite a lot of them. Um, and so, and that was a, like a fashion, fashion book. Perfect, you see. You get the idea of the antique writing there but you can't really see it. And that will go in there and it will have a little tab on it. Let's have a look here, see if there's anything in here that takes my fancy. Oh, no, that's not my whale towels. Here we go. See, something like that could even, quite like that, yes. Or, or oh, I might like that one. I don't know. Or do I like that one? Hmm. Decisions. The Tim Holtz. Play the beige. Or. Colourful. No, Tim Holtz. It doesn't go with the rest. Lucky I checked that. And I'll just glue that on for now, and then afterwards I'll stitch around the tag. The journal card, I should say. It's really more of a journal card than a tag. That will go in there. I didn't use the map, did I? Oh, well, we, I mean, it's there for another project. So that goes in there. Then we have a pocket here still. So I thought maybe something bigger. So there are bigger images, wider images, I should say. Let's see, there's maybe that one can go in there. So let's cut that out. Or you could fold, glue that, and oh, why me I'll glue that? Just a minute, glue that to something. Be a journaling spot. I'm just going to glue this to some tea dyed paper. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, I'll use this one from Steffi. So let's get the glue on here. I'll sit on the edge of my chair. Hopefully, I don't fall off. Great. Glue that about there, I think. And we need the card to flatten it out because that does a really good job. I'm getting back into my 100 day project mess again. Things are getting out of control. I was getting under control, now I'm back out of control. And I'm going to slip that off and I will stitch around it because I didn't glue right to the edge. 
If I glued right to the edge, I didn't need to stitch around it, but I didn't trim that off. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. And then I'm just going to um, I'll keep that. I think I'll round my corners. being careful not to accidentally fold back one of the papers otherwise it won't snip okay and I'm just going to fold just flatten it out a bit more okay I don't, probably didn't get glue with you but it doesn't matter I will stitch around it afterwards but I'll just fold it like that and that is going to now let's see if it were to fit in one of these it would be good I think I'm going to slip that in there I've changed my mind you see that's going to slide in there no then it peeks out so no I won't change my mind that's going to slide in that pocket in there and I could add a little tab onto it I could add a little tab so that way it's easier to pull out so that will go in there Oh, I have that tab there. Maybe let me just have a look at this. Something like that in blue. No, not that colour. Okay, yep, yeah, but something like that. So I have to stitch around that. I'll just have that peeking out for now. So that's going in there and that's a little writing spot where you put photographs. Um, and then over here, we need to find an image, if I've got one. So for example, they're too wide, but I could trim it down and you might be able to see them more. Otherwise, we could, you know, we'd have to trim that down, put, the, put that in. She might go in. I trim her down. You won't be able to see her. Or I could put the painting in. So let's just have a play and have a look. Blue. Now there's a few lumpy bits there. I'll just make sure I don't get those. Put that there. another good bit of that to use so let's glue that onto there this could be a very long video could be I wasn't intending to on doing such a long one but here we are there's quite a lot to be done in this project if you want to finish it like I could just stop now and say oh yeah I'll make some tags and put them in but I just felt like continuing on and completing it so that's quite pretty in there yep I think I'll do that I'll put a wow tail on there I think um, oh, I think that's super pretty. I'm going to put that on there. Get some glue on there and over there. And then I will stitch around it afterwards. And that will slide in that pocket. A nice piece of artwork there. 
and then here we don't we won't be able to see it so it can be anything really um, and I might make that one or will I make yeah I mean obviously you can put more than one thing oh this one I said um, you can put more than one thing in the pockets you don't have to just put one thing in there you can put heaps in there if you want to This nice piece there it's perfect size we've used up the whole letter not the letter you know what I mean the whole sample piece we've used I wouldn't mind a trip to France, if I'm honest. I wouldn't mind a trip anywhere. Put your hand up if you'd like to go on a trip somewhere. We can only dream, can't we? I mean, I know we're allowed to move within the European thing, but I don't know whether it's such a good idea. Don't know. I wonder if that one... No, it doesn't fit. So that one will go in there. And I will put... I'm thinking... I might put a little piece of something, um, what will I put up there? Oh, I think I've used all my scraps from that, from the kit. This, not this kit, it's not a kit, but this, um, what I've been cutting out. I think that would be nice there. No. Maybe we'll do another one of these. Oh, I like this colour. Why not? Let's just do that. Might as well use them. No point in hoarding them. These were sent to me. Or did I make that one? I might have made that one. Looks like one of my papers. Okay, and then I will stitch around that one. And that one will peekaboo out of there. Okay, so let's review. Oh, I like it. Okay, so this is the project. Oh, I was fearing that I might not be recording or something terrible like that. Okay, so I've hinged the envelope to an old book page. I did cover most of that up. Um, it was, in, you know, pretty um, looking pretty mouldy. I've kept that bit there for writing. Could put a little bit of washi there if you wanted to. And then we had the other envelope here. And we've got that in there. I didn't have one written in French, so we went with, um, I don't know what. And then this is like a little journaling spot. And I was thinking I may put a tab on there as well, which I didn't do, did I? Because I couldn't make up my mind. But something, maybe something like that or something colourful. I don't know. I'll decide that afterwards. And then we've laid a doily underneath, done a bit of um, collage in there and then flipped it over. And then um, got some lace and some trim, like stamp printed trim. And then um, two little journaling cards in there. What fun. I'm going to be making some more of these. I think those are lovely. Yeah, a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something different. Yay, we've got something different going on. And, um, and I will see you tomorrow for day 94. Can you believe it? Six more days. Six or seven more days. Today is 93. So I hope you enjoyed that and you're having a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.